Cinema 4D Studio Release 13 is sure to revolutionize your character animation workflow. The new character object allows you to quickly rig characters based on pre-built templates. You simply add predefined components, such as arms and legs, and use handles to adjust each component to your character model. Drag the model into the Binding tab, and Cinema 4D will apply intelligent auto-weighting and bind your mesh to the skeleton. The technical details are already defined in the template and adapted to your character automatically, so within minutes you're able to begin animating your character manually, or use the new C Motion system to automatically add a walk cycle to your character. With just a few clicks, the character will be walking along a spline, automatically adjusting its steps to the underlying terrain, or based on individual step objects you position in the scene. The character object provides the foundation for this fast and flexible workflow. Release 13 includes expertly crafted preset rigs for bipeds and quadrupeds, as well as birds, fish, insects, and reptiles. Elements from each template can be mixed and matched, so you can add a tail to a biped or wings to a quadruped. Each rig component contains all of the joints, controllers, and expressions necessary to rig and animate that portion of a character. There's also rigs designed with the proper hierarchy so you can easily apply motion clips from FBX, BVH, or Mixamo. In some cases, the template may contain multiple variations for a component, so you can choose exactly which type of rig and controls to build. Components can be automatically mirrored, and both sides of the rig can be built simultaneously by control clicking as you add the component. In adjust mode, the viewport display of the rig is simplified, and you can quickly adapt the rig to your own character's proportions by dragging the handles to the appropriate positions. A helpful tooltip appears in the HUD as you roll your mouse over each handle to help identify where it should be placed. The symmetry option, enabled by default, allows you to adjust both the left and right sides of the rig simultaneously. You can also adjust the rig's controllers and scale or reposition them for easy access. The binding mode offers a simple box where you can drag the objects that define the character's mesh. The binding process creates the skin deformer and automatically weights the appropriate joints within each component to the mesh. There's a new visibility algorithm that can be used when auto-weighting which considers whether a point can be seen from the joint rather than just evaluating the distance. This new mode can result in more accurate auto-weighting, particularly in areas of dense overlapping geometry. The animation process itself is easier too, because the character object provides easy access to all of the controls for each component. And you can easily select controllers via the character object or add them to the visual selector or HUD. The character object simplifies the display of the rig within the object manager, allowing you to focus on the elements that are most important. You can choose whether to display just the components, or just the controllers, or the full hierarchy of the rig. You can use the make editable command to convert the character object to just the rig components, so the rig can be reused in other editions or older releases of Cinema 4D. If you're sharing a built character rig with a client or animator, it can be password protected so that you can ensure the rig itself isn't modified. The character object is handy for more than just characters. With advanced templating functionality and Python integration, templates can simplify the task of creating complex pipe or ductwork systems, or even designing and visualizing a stage lighting plot. Just as with characters, the template can offer a simplified display and quick access to controllers so you can easily adjust the individual elements. Advanced users and technical directors have an amazing level of control over templates via this flexible system. The template file itself is stored as a Cinema 4D file, and various parts of the template are customized using a component tag. Virtually every aspect of a component can be controlled, from the way it's inserted into the hierarchy to how it mirrors and adjusts. Extensive Python integration offers even more control, allowing you to customize the behavior of the character object in response to virtually any situation. 
Changes to the template are automatically detected and any rig built from the template can be automatically updated to include the changes. The visual selector has been completely redesigned and now allows multiple tab views within a single tag. Hotspots can be defined in any shape by painting the image or lassoing a region. You can easily add text, preset icons, or any custom icon you choose. Hotspots dynamically highlight on mouse over and change color to indicate the related object is selected. In addition to selecting objects, you can create hotspots that enable Cinema 4D tools, switch views, or even execute Python code. C-Motion generates procedural animation based on the relationship between objects and individual cyclic actions that can be customized via a spline graph. Although it's designed to quickly create walk cycles, it can be used to create virtually any repeating animation. Any object parameter, including user data, can be controlled based on the time and the relationship between the target and hub objects. The splines themselves are easily modified using the new Spline Data GUI in Release 13. C-Motion includes intelligent options to align the object in the direction of travel and adapt to the surface beneath the character. Steps and hubs can be created as objects in the scene, and you can position and orient these objects for greater control over the motion. An all-new muscle system allows you to pin muscle objects to multiple joints or objects and deform the mesh as the distance between the objects changes. After adjusting the muscle's relaxed shape, you can choose to allow Cinema 4D to automatically determine the shape and volume of the compressed and extended muscle or you can individually model each state. Muscle shapes can also be defined via a spline GUI. Muscles even include their own dynamic settings, so they jiggle and deform in response to gravity and other forces. Once you've defined the individual muscles, you simply apply an M-skin deformer to the mesh. This performs the actual mesh deformation based on the muscles, much as a skin deformer bends the mesh based on the joints. The M-Skin Deformer allows you to define the fat offset between the muscle and the mesh, as well as enable options to pull and stretch the mesh based on the muscle deformation. The outstanding workflow enhancements in Cinema 4D Studio Release 13 make it easier than ever before for anyone to create believable character animations. The Character Object and C-Motion system remove much of the technical requirements and tedium normally involved in the process, while advanced XREFs, timeline enhancements, and the new visual selector make it easier than ever before to interact with and animate a character rig. You still won't find the magical Toy Story button in Cinema 4D, but Studio Release 13 makes the character animation process easier and more accessible, allowing you to focus on the artistry of animation.